Hey guys, here's another example of an easy SQL interview question you might come across. Uh, this one in particular, number 182, uh, the problem name is duplicate email. So uh, the problem says, write a SQL query to find all duplicate emails in a table named person. So person is the table. Uh, we have two fields here, the ID and then the email and we see one example of a duplicate here where you have two different ids but you have the same email so in this exact table that we see here that would mean that uh, a at b.com is a duplicate um, for example your query should return the following for the above table uh, so it's just looking to show the email. So it's it's not looking for, hey, give me a list of all duplicate emails and the associated number of times they reappear. It's just saying, give me a list of all emails that seem to be duplicate. So it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, note, all emails are in lowercase. I don't think that's really uh, an issue here. We're not playing with case statements and SQL isn't really uh, case sensitive in this case. So uh, let's get started again. Uh, we just want to display the emails, uh, you know, that happen to be duplicates. So should be pretty straightforward. Let's think outside the box, right? Or not really outside the box, but just thinking logically. If we want to find duplicate records, uh, we'd have to look at this in an aggregated fashion. We'd have to do something like, hey, give me a list of all the unique emails um, and the associated counts, right? Because we have to look at the count to really know if the count is greater than one, that's when I would consider the email to be a duplicate. So uh, keep that count in there from, for now. And we're pulling this from the person table group by email so if we were to run this this would give us a list of all the emails uh, all the unique emails with the associated count of records associated with that email um, but it's not looking for the counts it's just looking for a list of emails so uh, and also to identify again to identify uh, duplicate entries we need this count up here we would need this count up here to be greater than one. That's how you identify that an email has shown up twice in this table. Um, and we don't really, again, we don't need this count here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take this out actually, uh, because again, it's just looking for the email. Uh, and that should be enough uh, to give it what it wants. Just give me the email from this table uh, where the count is greater than one group by email and again you know this having you know this having function down here not function but this clause here is similar to a where clause but it's for aggregation so we're aggregating the count at the email level we're grouping it at the email level and then we're saying of that aggregation only show me the emails where the aggregated count is greater than one so again it's similar to a where clause uh, but you use it for aggregation uh, after the group clause. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and let's see what we get. Looks good. I'm going to hit submit and I think that should work out. And it does. So that is uh, the intended solution. So hope you guys found this helpful. Please give the video a like and hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys.